Let's try it. We're gonna try it with Typhlosion, and if I don't like it, what we'll do is we'll go back to uh we'll go back to the other one. We'll go back to uh Skele Skelly Dirge. Skelly Dirge. Alright. Alright, alright, alright. Ultra League is here. We're gonna play Ultra League today. We'll probably play some Summer Cup next week, but given that we have two weeks of Summer Cup, I'd rather take advantage of Ultra League now since Master League is the next thing they pair with Summer Cup and we can't really play Master League. So we're going to try a variant on the team we played last time with a little, little love. little love. Very possible, Coach K. Very possible. Grand Bowl. Okay. Okay. I think we're gonna take the uh the debuff here we pretty much resist all of the uh the moves that this thing can throw at us but what we're kind of getting into here is just do they just two shield this i think if they do i think that's fine right like we don't love it but i think we just say you know Oh, I'm still on Shadow Claw. I kind of wish we were on Incinerate here. I actually thought we were on Incinerate, and now that I know we're not, this actually is way worse than I uh, thought it was going to be. Because they're going to get two moves. Oh, okay, they did not. Good. Good, good, good. This is also where we kind of wish we had... Uh, what's it called? We kind of wish we had Solar Beam. Obviously, Solar Beam there would have absolutely eviscerated that. But the Giratina is really pretty good into their back line. So, and we still have a shield. So I'm feeling fairly good about where we're positioned here. Right? Feeling pretty good. Plant. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Definitely don't intend to, uh, I definitely don't intend to shield a hydro cannon. But get this off and then I'm pretty sure with the shield and a blast burn we can win this the single resisted blast burn is not really a thing that they're gonna be able to uh, survive <laughs> I'm pretty pretty comfortable from here and we'll TM this boy to uh, we're gonna TM this boy to incinerate I think it does make us slightly... It makes us very bad against Giratina. I mean, eh, you know what? We won with it. I'm going to leave it as is for now. Now that I know, we're going to leave it as is. I think there are some matchups where I like Shadow Claw. I know that Incinerate is just cracked and it's technically better, but five turn moves are kind of butts to use. And I'd rather not put myself in that position where I'm forced to use a five turn move, even if it's crazy, crazy, crazy good. Um, okay. Now, here's a place where we would have really liked to have incinerate, but that's okay. Okay, into Ampharos. That's fine. They will have a uh, brutal swing, which gives them some options here. We would, of course, like switch advantage. Although right now we're in a we're in a position where uh, my opponent has showed me two electric types already, which is kind of fascinating, is it not? Somebody really, really doesn't want to be uh, losing to. Hmm. Uh, water types, Fergalator. 
Somebody is definitely afraid of the Ferg. Okay. So we're gonna catch, right? I'm just not currently overly convinced that this Pokemon is gonna be very valuable to us. But if we can get some value out of it, like catching that move and then making sure that this is in position, I'm feeling pretty good. If they undercharge here, I can, uh, nope. Ah, see, that's a problem. But this is, this is why I wanted Shadow Claw, right? This is exactly why we wanted Shadow Claw. At least now we're putting on Shadow Claw damage here and not just resisted incinerate damage, right? Oh, they actually have ancient power? That's kind of butts. That's kind of butts. Giratina, I believe in you. I have to believe in Giratina here, right? Galv is a squishy boy. We have a shield still. I just don't know that they're going to be able to get to the moves they need. Yeah, I think we're okay. I mean, if this is a lunge and they have both of their moves right now, they might get me. Okay, they did not. <laughs> I was like, I don't think they do. But in the scenario where they have the lunge and the second move and the debuff means they don't die to Shadow Claw, they get us. Lucky for us, they did not get us. GG's. Okay. So far, so good. Shadow Claw looking like a pretty decent keep in that game. Um, as we obviously were pretty happy to uh, have it into that Giratina matchup. It's I Beat Cakes. All right. Good luck, friend. Uh, Articuno. Oh, my precious. My beautiful, precious bird. Our opponent's going to concede. Okay, well, bummer. <laughs> At least we got to see Articuno. At least we got to see it. But I guess they didn't want to play that game. Fair enough. They could be tanking. They could just be like, eh, if I don't see a good lead, I'm just going to concede. It's fine. Don't worry about it. That happens sometimes, right? All right, Cannon Blaze. Let's keep it going. Uh, Fergalator. All right. You might be thinking to yourself, yeah, great lead. Tapu Fini into a water type where you resist all the charge moves. You got to be thrilled about this. I'm not. We, we really we really don't do great in this matchup. Um, so what I tend to like to do in this matchup is see if I can get a shield off the nature's madness. Our problem here is like, I think, even if I give them a shield, that what happens here is they get another move before we get another madness. Kind of running through. Normally I like to switch, but like I think we're gonna die right here to a Hydra Cannon. Or if not the Hydra Cannon, to the Shadow Claws that come with it. Yeah, so like, we just really did not put ourselves in great position there. I basically needed to, uh, I needed there to uh, no shield and probably switch when we got the debuff. Now, the end result here is okay, right? We basically, ooh, they're on Dragon Breath. We basically traded.
at not terribly high cost. We have lost switch advantage, but we're kind of at the point now where our hope is very much that our uh, our for uh, our Typhlosion is free to be its best self with these two Pokemon out of the way, right? That's our hope, is that once once these Pokemon are out of the way, our Typhlosion can be its best self. Or, you know, they can have a Polyrath. Ultra League's great, Bed Potato. I don't know what you're talking about. Great League is the worst league we play. <laughs> At least in, in this writer's humble opinion. You know what? We're not going to win if this is... Okay. Like, our win condition, I think, was no shielding and icy win. So... We needed, we needed something to go our way. Unfortunately, the other bit here is not going our way. So what do we, what do we need? We need some things to go right here. Okay. So we had to clear those debuffs. And then I need this blast burn to kill him. This was our this was our out at the end. Clear the debuffs, can blast burn kill him? Come on, come on, come on! Nope, not even close. Not even close. All right, GG's. <laughs> we tried. We tried. I think we played that. I think we played that pretty well. Unfortunately, not enough. But no, nah, I'm not a fan of Great League. I'm really not a big fan of it. I, I feel like Open Great League is just very meh. Very, very, very meh. A Gengar lead. That's certainly fascinating. But Gengar is very squishy but absolutely packs a wallop, right? Pretty much. It'll pretty much shadow ball kill anything. Uh, okay, punch I can punch I can tank. I like that. I like that. It's going to double punch me, but We're gonna get the second shield here. Okay, so they're only getting one move here. They'll probably throw ball. This is another place where I wish we had solar beam. Believe it or not. Like, I really wish we had solar beam. Kyrum. As a shiny Kyrum. Uh, Solar Beam would not help us here, by the way. Uh, Blast Burn's still pretty good, but Solar Beam would not help us. Fascinating. <laughs> uh, Dragon Claw isn't going to kill us. We should... Come on, game. There we go. Be able to do that. And then we Blast Burn... Another Ice type? But it's ice rock, so it's going to take neutral. Actually, we're not in we're not in the best shape here. Not in the best shape here. But let's see if we can let's see if we can steal this one at the end. Obviously, like we still have some water guns, right? So they need they need to stack up charge moves in a really interesting way that's just not going to work out for them if they meteor beam me. So, GG's. They need to like kill me and have another charge move ready to go before I killed them. 
It's just, it's just tough. All right, we'll take our four wins. And our very, very close loss. Can't complain. Can't complain, y'all. GG's. GG's.